Tywood Johnson, surprisingly, he didn't make an NBA roster this year. I know he signed in training camp a non-guaranteed deal, but obviously that didn't come to fruition. But now Johnson latches on with the Philadelphia 76ers, who just in general, besides safety and protocol guys, they've had a lot of injuries on and off this season here, is the Philadelphia 76ers. And Tywood Johnson, I know he could score the basketball, decent three-point shooter, and we saw some of it from him over the last few seasons with the Brooklyn Nets. So right here, this season he hasn't played. It's Tywood Johnson. So it'll be his first action of the season, and we'll see if he gets in a ball game with the Philadelphia 76ers in tomorrow night's ball game. But right here, he's another guy, part of the 10-day deal hardship that the NBA is letting with all these teams having sick players going on the safety and protocol list. But right here, I think Tywood Johnson can definitely contribute to an NBA team off the bench from 12 to 15 minutes, like I mentioned, to hit the three ball, run a little bit of the point, or be a catch and shoot shooter. As far as fantasy basketball goes right now, we need to see, obviously, if he's going to be long-term part of this rotation or even be on this team next week here after the 10 days are up for Tyler Johnson. But right here, like I've mentioned in other, other videos with guys signing, it's good to see some of these players get opportunities here where if this didn't happen, they wouldn't get any opportunity and be either in the G League or sitting at home or whatever the case may be for each player. But right here, Tyler Johnson signs with the Philadelphia 76ers, and we'll see if he makes any impact or gets enough playing time to have a role with this Sixer team.